guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make these coconut milk quinoa pancakes. They taste amazing. So first you're going to start off by just cooking your white quinoa. I prefer white quinoa but you could use any other kind. And I am doubling my recipe but I will have the original recipe down below for you guys. So I just added in quinoa and water to my pan and cooked it and this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Then I'm going to take a large bowl and in this bowl you're going to add your flour. I'm adding in three cups because like I said I am doubling my recipe but again the regular recipe will be down below. I'm adding in some sugar as well and then a little bit of salt and then some baking powder or rather quite a bit of baking powder because again I'm doubling my recipe. This recipe just tastes so good. This is my fourth time making it so that's why I'm doubling it and I'm going to freeze some and then after you add in all the dry ingredients also add in your quinoa and then you want to mix it all together. You could do this by hand or you could attach it to your stand mixer with your whisk attachment and then you're just going to blend all the ingredients together until they're well combined. Once that's all ready, you're going to add in either coconut extract or vanilla extract. They both taste really good. I think I actually prefer vanilla, but I was testing it out in coconut this time. And then you're also going to add in a whole can of coconut milk if you are doubling the recipe or half a can if you are not doubling the recipe. And then just to blend that all together. Now it's time to get cooking your quinoa pancakes. So I'm just using a non-stick pan with some coconut oil spray. This just further helps it to be non-stick and it's just like a little base. And I'm scooping my uh, pancake mixture with an ice cream scooper. I find this just to be the easiest way. And I'm just adding in one scoop for each pancake. Now once you see these little bubbles, which they do take a while to cook, but once you see the bubbles, you are ready to flip your pancakes over. And I lay my pancakes out on a single layer of parchment paper because then I then freeze it for about two hours until they're a little harder. And then I add them into one giant gallon size bag and then I put them in the freezer. So then I have coconut quinoa milk pancakes whenever I feel like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!